hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to league one prediction this video is sponsored by lol t-shirt company they sell my merch the link for my merch is down in the description below um there was a very minimal game to league one and um, this weekend due to the fa cup but league one is back for the midweek um so it's very minimal results to the cover, but I still got the lead table. So guys, anyway, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Accrington Stanley versus Peterborough. Um, Accrington Stanley drawing one one away to Bet and Albion. Um, while we're on the verge of Accrington, they've only won one in their last five. Um, going up against a very good Peterborough side who are currently on 43 points and won two in their last five. Um, this game, I think, is going to be a bit one sided. Um, I'm, I'm going to call it a 2 1 Peterborough win. My next one is AFC Wimbledon versus Burton Albion. Um, Burton Albion drawing 1-1 one, one, oh, um, at home to Accrington Stanley. Disappointed day for Burton Albion. There, if I'm all honest, in my point of view. Um, with this game, Burton Albion are currently in ninth, winning throughout the last five. Um, Wimbledon are sitting in 19th, 27 points, winning two out of the last five. Um, so very similar stats that Burton Albion have won one more in their last five. Um, but I think this could be a bit of an upset and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Wimbledon win. My next one is Doncaster versus Southend. Um, Doncaster 0-0 away to Sunderland. Um, as I said, there's very minimal results to look at because of the um, FA Cup. But we still get the lead table. But um, I think that's a good point for Doncaster. I watched the bits and pieces of that game. And I think Doncaster thoroughly deserved the point. Um, some even may go the three. But I thought some of them was a bit poor. Sorry, some of them fans, but that's just my opinion. Um, going up against a very good um, South End side. Um, South End are currently sitting in 22nd, one of their last five. Um, sorry, I retract my last bit, but I said a good South End side. I'm just looking at their stacks here, and they, um, they seem to be struggling a bit. Um, 12 points out of safety. Uh, so, with this one, I'm going to go for a Doncaster win and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Doncaster win. My next one is Fleetwood versus Coventry. Um, Fleetwood joined 0 0 away to Bristol Rovers. Um, Coventry obviously played in the cup um all the you know stuff that it had over there um drawing nil nil and if you did watch my FA Cup predictions I sort of said this game's gonna go into a replay and it has um the that's gonna be quite funny because obviously now Coventry get the whole way end and uh the dugouts get switched and the dressing rooms, but I, I sort of worked it out from the start really that that was going to end in a replay. Um, but you know, fair play to Coventry for even giving it a go. Um, this game's going to be quite interesting. You've got Coventry in fourth, 44 points, not lost in their last five. You've got Fleetwood in 11, not one in their last five, drawing the other two with 38 points. Um, I'm going to give this game to Coventry and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Coventry City win. My next one is Lincoln versus Portsmouth. Um, 
as I said, there's very minimal to go on. Um, Lincoln uh, losing one 0 away to Ittridge, um, which put Ittridge back on top. Um, Lincoln are currently in twelve, winning two out of the last five, thirty-seven points, um, a plus two goal difference. So that's another plus sign. Um, Portsmouth currently sitting in eight, one point out of the playoff places, and they're uh, winning three out of the last five. Um, I'm going to call this game a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Milton Keynes Lawns versus Rochdale. Um, Rochdale drawing 2 2 at home to Gillingham. Uh, as I said, because there's very minimal to look at um, due to the cup, um, you know, it's makes it a bit. I mean, like this game, we've got Rochdale at played, who are currently in 18, we've got MK Dons um, in 20th, who didn't play. Um, you know, this where Cup football really doesn't interfere. But looking at the table here, that was a catch-up game for Rochdale anyway on MK Dons. Um, Rochdale on 29 points. MK Don on 25 points. Um, so, you know, it sort of hasn't matched out, but I'm going to go for a very boring, very dull 0 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Rotherham versus Itchridge. Um, Itchridge beating Lincoln 1 0 at home. Um, Wolfram loses 2 1 away to Peaceborough. Um, top two gun at it. Um, point between the two. Itchridge on 48 points. Watchdown on 47. Both sort of got similar stacks, except um, Itchridge has drawn in their last two, uh, two out of five. Watchdown lost one out of their last five. Um, but very similar stacks, which one going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for a 3 all scoreline for that one. My next one is Tramiel versus Sunderland. Um, Sunderland 0-0 at home to uh, Doncaster. As I said, I watched a bit of that game and I felt very disappointed on the Sunderland perspective. Um, currently sitting in sip when in throughout the last five drawing the other two. I'm going up against a Tramiel side who are currently playing in the FA Cup and not won a league game in their last five. But I'm going to give this game to Sunderland and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Sunderland win. My next one is Wickham Wanderers versus Blackpool. Um, Wickham currently sitting in third. Blackpool are currently 15th, 34 points, um, playing 47 points. Uh, this game is going to be ever so slightly interesting of the ma matter of fact of um, Wickham, uh, you know, ain't been in the championship for a while, if I remember rightly, please correct me if I'm wrong, um, but Blackpool, one of them teams that did get relegated, I know it's quite a few seasons ago now, and I expected them to come back up, which they didn't. Uh, I'm just thinking the way to call this game. Um, I'm going to go for a Wickham win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Wickham win. And I'm just looking at their goal difference. And they've both got exactly the same goal difference as well. So it could be quite an interesting game. Um, my next one is Bolton versus Bristol Rovers. Um, Bolton, you know... All, things are looking bleak um, for Bolton. Currently sitting bottom of the table, seven points. Um, about what, 18 points out of safety. Um, I feel so, so sorry for Bolton and their fans because of what's happened to that club. Um, I remember, yet yeah, again, a child my age when it used to be in the Premier League. Um, Bristol Rovers currently in 13th, not winning their last five, Bolton not winning their last five either. 
Um, both got very similar stats, but Bristol Rovers have drawn one more in their last five than what Bolton have. This game, I think it's going to be ever so slightly interesting. Uh, but I'm going to call, I'm going to call this one a draw. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Gillingham versus Shrewsbury. Um, I feel Gillingham doing a 2-2 two -two or ready to watch now. Um, the club I support, we've actually got a bit of history with Gillingham. Um, you can probably work out who I support just by saying that. Uh, but fair play, Gillingham are on currently full team for 36 points. Going up against the Shrewsbury Town side who are in the 16th with 34 points, not winning in their last five. Uh, Gillingham have won one game in their last five. This game, I can only see it going one way, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Gillingham win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao.